It was a series of three explosions in the primary reactor and the interswitch. Safe to assume it's no accident? Yes, it looks like somebody planted charges. Presumably it's more of Amadi's work, but it was on a timer or something. Can you get the power back online? We have less than an hour before the invasion fleet lands. I'll try. Jojo, you're with me. Where are we going? We've got to bypass the inner switch. That can't be good. I think we'll have to bypass about 20 meters. Do we have that much spare cable on hand? Not this kind, and there's no time to make more. So we'll have to borrow it from somewhere. Where? The end of a line. Somewhere non-essential. How about ore processing? Doesn't look like we'll be going anywhere anyway. Yeah, good idea. Tell you what, you run down there and get me 20 meters and I'll stay here working on removing the bad segment. Sure thing, Chief. QuietPlease.org presents 253 Matilda. In the early 22nd century, the crewed asteroid 253 Matilda left the solar system on an interstellar mission. Generations later, after 114 years, a new star system stretches out in front of them. Episode 14. Invasion. Has anybody heard from somebody? What are you doing here? It's customary for me to try to provide comfort and guidance to those who are about to pass over to the afterlife and to pray for their yet? souls. No. We're not really about to die. Are you basing that on many facts or blind faith? You of all people should appreciate faith. Not so much when it gets everyone needlessly killed. I agree, Father, but we haven't reached that point yet. We can resist, but surrender once there's no hope. After how many die? You remember 22 years ago when we were about to go to war with the Returnists. When you helped convince me to resign and call an election to defuse the situation. The ships on their way right now aren't interested in holding a vote on whether to seize our home from us. Anyone who doesn't want to fight for what's ours is welcome to go to the Arboretum now. And I wish you would, Dad. There's no need for you to get hurt. I'm staying as long as you're staying, Renata. I'm staying as long as there are people here to minister to. Then keep out of my way. Chief Lawrence, are you still tracking them? Automated tracking is down, but I've got them on manual scopes. The bad news is there's more of them now. I'd estimate 30 ships. And the good news? They've stopped launching more. Based on their negotiator's ship, they probably don't have more than a handful of troops in each. So we shouldn't be outnumbered. Just very badly outgunned. We have home field. That makes a difference. We do need to be ready for the possibility that we're quickly overwhelmed and need to switch to asymmetric warfare. You mean an insurgency? Jim O'Hara from mining came to me with an idea. The mines could be a good place to hide out. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Can you give me a hand, Hernandez? You've already taken one. Now you want the other? Sorry about the wording. I need help moving some medical supplies. Take this box to the Arboretum, I'll take the other to mining. Okay. Luckily there are no patients to move at least. You'll have plenty of them very soon. Got the cable? Here you go. Okay. Hold it up level for me while I splice in this end. Chief, I've been thinking... These aliens are 10,000 years ahead of us. So? So what chance do we have? It's like a caveman trying to defend his cave against an army with modern weapons. Hold the middle while I splice the other end. 
If they want to take us back to Earth, is that so bad? Isn't it what a lot of people wanted anyway? Why get ourselves killed resisting? All I really know about these aliens is they've taken over my brother-in-law's brain. They've made him abduct and shoot my sister. They've made him blow up our reactor. That doesn't make me feel inclined to trust them or throw myself at their mercy. And I don't want to give up on our mission either. It should be landing any moment now. Can you tell where? Uh, sorry, they got too low for our telescopes and the cameras have been out. Power's back. Just in the nick of time, Chief Flint. Now, Lawrence, tell me where those ships are landing. Was that an explosion? Felt more like something been? really big landing nearby. Could the reverb through the ground from a ship landing be that strong? I don't know. Maybe if they all land in They're sync. They're right on top of us. Time to go. They're coming through the ceiling! Eternal God. But this is the top they level. Themselves. They landed on the surface directly above and they're drilling down through the regolith. Deliver us so much for depressurizing a hallway on them after they come out of the airlock. I'll take this one. Defensive positions, find cover. Those of you who are armed, shoot as soon as you see them. They're using knockout gas! Everyone, put your mask on! Here they come! What over? They seem to have energy shields that absorb my laser fire! I'll try and explode it. Maybe the shield won't work against that. Damn. Point blank explosion, and that one hardly seems to have felt it. We're trapped. How do we get out of here? We're trying to think of something else. Right now! I don't see any. Oh. Dad! They got him. Fall back if you can. Try to get to the storage level. There's another group coming at us from the direction of the elevator. I don't think so. Who's left? Follow me if you can. Let's make a run. Ah. Anakin and Judy are there. They're worried the about us. Have reached level three. Advancing rapidly. Weapons are useless. Nearing my location. Good luck, everybody. Do you think there's still time to make it to the Arboretum? Probably not. And I wouldn't go anyway. But I'm glad the kids are safe. I'm surprised at you, Salish. I thought you had some sympathy for the Returnists. Your old friend Jesus Maradona certainly thought so. That was a long time ago. And returning of our own free will was a whole different question from being hijacked and herded by aliens. Well, it sure sounds like we've lost the fight and won't have any say in the matter. We're unarmed, so just promise me you'll put your hands in the air when they break in and not make some suicidal lunge at them. What are you doing? Creating a third alternative. Household maintenance is an alternative? Going into the crawl space between levels. But it's tiny. You'll get lost or trapped and won't be able to turn around and there'll be nobody to call for help. I've done it before for repairs. I know my way around. But what can you accomplish? I don't know. Hopefully it'll buy me enough time to think of a plan. Well, good luck, Salish. But please. Don't be stuck in a crawl space as the only human left after they've moved us all onto a ship to Earth. That wouldn't be my ideal scenario either. Hello? Why don't they show themselves? Renata, are you there? Anyone? We were being invaded. I think I was shot. What is this place? Your own personal hell. Where'd you come from? You seem vaguely familiar. I come from within. Am I 
dead? You might as well be. You've done everything you'll ever do. All that remains is to wait patiently for death to get around to you. That's not true. I proved it wasn't true when I helped rescue Peters. The last convulsion of a dying mind. Now you'll be a prisoner. The rest of your life wasted in transit. To a world you've never known, and never will know. Earth, the world you fought so hard to prevent returning to. A world where, if you were unlucky enough to survive the whole journey, you'd be an alien. And then don't move, just for a few minutes. I heard that. That was Judge Lee. So. So there's something happening out there in the real world, and I should be there. What's the point? You're more doomed out there than you are in here. There's always a point to try. Doctor, are you sure you'll be okay? What about in a completely hopeless situation, where all you have to look forward to is incarceration? There's always hope. There has to be. As long as I'm alive, I have to keep hoping and trying. Can you hear me? Ugh. He's coming around. How do you feel, Dad? Like somebody took a hammer to my head. We all know the feeling. The headache wears off. You were out for longer than anyone, though. Probably a matter of age. Recovery time slows. Thanks for reminding me I'm ancient. What's our situation? They've dumped us all in the Arboretum and sealed the exits. At least we haven't been taken off our world yet. Did they get everyone? We don't know. They haven't dumped anyone new in for a while, so we think they've finished their initial sweep. I've got Judge Lee doing a head count. Oh, here she comes now. 189. Including the ambassadors? The ambassadors aren't here. Our invaders probably wouldn't have been expecting any non-humans. Maybe they're being given a special interrogation. I prefer to think they're still free, along with ten of our people, working to get us out of here. There's another possibility, of course. What's that? Everyone not here may have been killed. Who are you? I am Ambassador One. Ambassador from where? Another Earth country. You are obviously not human. We are another Earth species. Humans were the only Earth species during the last survey capable of even simple technology. And that was less than 10,000 years ago. Another could not have evolved so quickly. Genetic experiments created us. Corrupts. Extract a genetic sample from Ambassador One. No, you do not understand our physiology. Thank you. I'll put this into the analyzer. And I see you're from the planet known to humans as Gliza 667CC Ambassador. Small population in the twilight zone of a tightly locked world. Achieved space travel a couple thousand years ago and interstellar flight more recently. It seems you do not need me to tell you anything. Why did you lie to me? Protecting our home is our first priority. It says here you use hibernation for your interstellar travel. That is a legal method. Only relativistic speeds are illegal. Your home is in no danger from us. I am pleased to hear that. We found one other type of alien among you, but have been unable to establish communication. There are no other species but our kind and humans on board. Bring in the small, unidentified one. Ah, I can see your mistake now. Despite the attitude of superiority, 
This is actually a lower Earth species which you will find incapable of complex communication. Besides the ambassadors, I figured out the missing people include Detective Amadi, Peters, and a bunch of ore miners. Safe to assume they're still holding a rash in one of their ships. They never sent him back. Their refusal to return him and the reactor explosion suggests they may not have been on the level about removing his nanobots. Thanks for that insight, genius. So what happened to the miners? They were going to try to disguise a mine entrance and hide out below. That's great, but how do we contact them? We figured multicoms would be confiscated, so we hit a simple radio in the Arboretum, knowing at least some of us would be here for a while. That bush, I believe. Mayor, would you like to do the honors? Hello? Anyone in the mines listening to me? Jim O'Hara here. Mr. O'Hara, what's your situation? All quiet here, Mayor. Are we winning? I'm afraid not. Your group and the ambassadors are the only ones not imprisoned in the Arboretum at the moment. And Peters. Will you be wanting a jailbreak then? We don't have a plan yet. We just get recaptured and lose our only trump card. Hold off on that, Mr. O'Hara. Don't take too long. I'd hate to get up there and find they've already moved you over to their asteroid. We'll be in touch every hour if the coast is clear. Their weapons and defenses are too powerful to take them on directly. Even if we could retake Matilda, we also need a way to keep their asteroid from coming after us. <laughs> More likely just destroying us at a distance with a relativistic weapon if we prove too much trouble. Alternatives, anyone? I might have an idea, though it's a long shot. Explain. They used Amadi to sabotage Matilda. Maybe we could use the same method to sabotage them. I have some nanobots I took out of Amadi. They're stashed in the bushes here with some other medical supplies I stole. You think you could reprogram them to work for us? No, no. Not even a chance if I had my lab in a year. But there's a chance we won't need to. How's that? From what we've seen, they convinced the controlled person that sabotage is the way to prevent conflict and make peace. If we could inject one of them over there, maybe they'd carry out the same program of sabotage there and try to prevent them from trying to destroy us. Seems like a really tenuous extrapolation. Well, yes. I'm not saying I think it's likely to work. It's just the only idea I have. And would the nanobots work on their species? That's another unknown. They might be targeted to humans, or they might be adaptable to any brain structure. And it took weeks to drive Amadi to sabotage, didn't it? True, though that might have been because it had weeks to spare. And the idea that their programming would be so vague as sabotage to bring peace. I just don't think I'd buy it. There are a hell of a lot of uncertainties there. No doubt about that. And it doesn't help us take back Matilda. True again. It's just all I've got. Forget it. Look, it's one of the aliens! Attention, humans. Which one of you is your chief mechanic? Don't tell them. That's me, Chief Mech Larissa Flint. Chief Mechanic Larissa Flint, you will come with me. Why? What do you want her for? That will be revealed to her shortly, not to you. Come, Larissa Flint. You've been listening to 253 Matilda, Episode 14, Invasion. Created, written, produced, and directed by Paul Neerim. Mayor Renata Matumbo is Kathleen Lee. Mission Specialist Salish Peters is David Loftus. Astronomy Chief Lawrence is James Lorenz. Jim O'Hara is Slim Sam V.O. The evil monk was George Worrell. Apprentice Tojo is Gwyneth Knight. 
Eva Hernandez is Lindsay White. The aliens are Megan Schmidt and Jeff Robinson. Detective Aranya Satang is Sova Rain. Chief Mech Larissa Flint is Lindsay Townsend. The mayor's father is Roger Arnold. Ambassador One is Microsoft Azure Neural Voice Eric. Dr. Stone is John Gauntz. Dr. Peters is Ahmad A.J. Judah. Communications Chief Marissa Flint is Virginia Hargrove. The priest is David Nagel. Judge Lee is Rachel Pulliam. The announcer is Aaron Summonsby. Sound effects and music courtesy freesound.org, a soundeffect.com, freepd.com, and audionautics.com. This program is licensed for free reuse and redistribution. Hear more episodes at quietplease.org slash 253.